Good day. This is Prophetess Wendy. Thank you so much for joining us. If you're joining us for the first time, I'd like to welcome you. This is the true prophet of the Lord. I'm guided by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. He's my true friend. And I'm governed by the word of God. I take it as it is. If you hear anything new, just know that it's a revelation that comes from up above. Today, we are discussing one of the most important topics that says that, Prophetess, how do you know if someone is the right partner? Let me repeat it again. It says that, Prophetess, how do you know if someone is the right partner? Hallelujah. Let me start by saying this is a very, very interesting topic. You know, when I was traveling during my youthful days or when I was young, I used to ask myself the same question. Hallelujah. Until I met my husband. I think it's good sometimes to speak from experience because sometimes when you speak something that you don't know, you have no information. But today I wanted to share some of the story for me. You know, I want to testify to say, how did I know that uh, Pastor Given was the right one for me? I think that will be very relevant for this topic for today i know that there are people who say that prophetize for me it was love at first sight like jacob when you're reading the book of genesis it says that the first day when he saw when he saw rachel for the first time he loved her he was even able to tell the father to say you know what i want to marry rachel i'm even willing to work for her seven years this is my wife there are people who can spot a woman first thing first when they see that particular person they're like this is the woman that i want to spend the rest of my life with then you ask me prophetess how do they know how did they come to that conclusion then i will start by talking about myself hallelujah when i met pastor given i was fasting on that day i still remember i went to prayer meeting when i arrived at that prayer meeting he was there hallelujah when he was there one thing that has drawn my attention to pastor given when i was there is when he was speaking talking about god i could feel god hallelujah <laughs> i'm blessed with the descendant spirit i could feel god when he was talking i was so blessed i don't know if i was the only one that was blessed but remember as a woman i do not have the ability and the audacity to go and approach a man hallelujah <laughs> some can but with my standard i will not so you know what after the service i went home when i arrived at home i did not tell anyone sometimes when you are feeling something for the next person it's good if you do not share because sometimes we share with the wrong people who end up discouraging us you know sometimes they come back and say i like this particular brother somebody oh that brother hallelujah <laughs> and then you end up saying uh, yeah no, no friend no so sometimes you know what i did i came back home I, I sat down and i begin to speak to the holy spirit as my friend i begin to tell him that the holy spirit i've seen a young man today hallelujah and then the holy spirit said to me what do you love about this man i said i like the fact that he has god on the inside hallelujah <laughs> and the holy spirit asked me a question do you i said yes and i told the holy spirit that i would like to see him again because i don't have the power the authority to approach him as a man but I loved him from that moment. Did I know that he was the right one? The answer is no. Let me not lie to you. Let me not do anything. I didn't know. I just felt like I loved him. But I was not aware that he was the one. Hallelujah. <laughs> The mistake we make is to lie sometimes that I knew, I felt it from that moment. No, no, no. I didn't know. But one thing that I knew for sure is that I wanted a husband like him. Hallelujah. This is the man that I've been dreaming about. I was praying for a God-fearing person. And when I saw Pastor Given, I was like, this is what I'm looking for in a man. This is one of the qualities that I like. But was I sure that he was the one? No, it was not like that for me. Hallelujah. Then the following day, I woke up, the Holy Spirit said, ah, go visit your aunt, Auntie Crystal. Hallelujah, section A, I was staying in section C, Madam Lair. So when I was walking, you know, I saw, ah, this man is a man from yesterday. Hallelujah, he was coming with Mr. Mahubani, Oriel Mahubani. They were together, they were best friends. They were coming, you know, we were about to cross path, but I acted as if I'm not even interested, you know, one of those holy sisters who mind their own business. So when we were coming closer, they were like, hi, I was like, hi. Then we passed one another. <laughs> We did not say anything to one another. But the funny part, when I'm sitting with Pastor Given each and every day and ask him, when did you start loving him me? Hallelujah. When did you fall in love with me? He says that, you know what, the, uh, the, the first day when I saw it was, uh, for me, the first day when I saw him, it was at that prayer meeting. But for him, he says, he saw me a day before. Hallelujah. It was more or less like Ruth and Boaz situation where Boaz saw Ruth and begin to talk about her and begin to ask people who is she, you know. So, pastor said he had his own conclusion to say if a woman is beautiful he says i caught from him it's not coming from me hallelujah <laughs> the beauty is on the behold of the what i don't know it's english so they say that um 
Oh, sorry, he says that he saw me. I caught from him. He says that he saw me. But one thing that came to mind was say, this girl is so beautiful. And if she's beautiful like that, it means she already has a steady boyfriend. So I'm not going to bother talk to her. So what do I have to say? He says openly to me, I never liked you first day. <laughs> then I ask him, then what attracted you to me then? He says, you know, during the time of that prayer meeting, I, I was I was at the back. He was in front. Hallelujah. So he says, when I was praying, he felt God. <laughs> he felt the presence of God. He said, oh, wow. a woman cannot pray like this if she's naughty. If she has got a lot of boyfriends, she cannot pray like this. That is when he began to do his research and people begin to tell him about me and my character and where I am in life. So from that moment, he says, that was the moment I began to fall in love with you. So I asked him, did you know that I was the one? He said, mm -mm. <laughs> he said, mm -mm. <laughs> Hallelujah. So let's not lie. For me, I didn't know. But there are people like Jacob, the other people, when you read books, they'll tell you that it was love at first sight. Some will tell you it developed over time, like us. The pastor didn't love me at first sight. Hallelujah. He had his own ideas. He had a lot of things to say about me. He was judging a book by its cover. Hallelujah. But for me, when I saw him the first time, I just liked him. I liked what I saw and what I had and what I was feeling. The presence of God when I was speaking and I was convinced this man has God on the inside inside so going forward the time came for pastor given to propose me you know when he proposed you know i acted like a dignified woman if you're dignified when a man proposed you even if you know hey i'm dying <laughs> i'm dying on the inside hallelujah i said to him give me a week seven days i have to go pray and ask the lord and hear what the lord has to say about you <laughs> And then when Pastor, God, Pastor Given calls, he was like, you know, and let me give an example. Maybe it's Monday today. We'll call on a Monday to say, sister, what is the Lord saying to you? <laughs> I said, not yet. Not yet. You know, I'm still, I'm still praying. Don't rush me. I'm still praying. But I already had an answer by then. It's just that I was playing hard to get. <laughs> So what do I have to say to you? You might be watching me and you're wondering that prophetess, there's this type of guy that I, I'm with now, but I'm not sure if he's the one. One thing that I can tell you for sure, what I did, I follow the scripture from the book of Ecclesiastes. It says that young person, follow your heart. You know, it says be, be happy while you're still young. Don't let anything worry you or cause you pain. You know, it says that enjoy each and every moment as a young person but one thing that i've caught from that scripture it says follow your heart that's what i did i had to follow my heart when i was praying i would not lie didn't hear, hear a voice from heaven saying daughter daughter is a prophetess given is the one no 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 one thing that the holy spirit has asked me first day when i was having a conversation about pastor given without pastor given being present the holy spirit said to me do you love him and my answer was like yes and the holy spirit just says leave it to me <laughs> He did the rest, and then I had to. Uh, you know what? I, I thank God, man. It's good to work with God. God always guides you to the right path. So, what do I have to say? And then, after that, seven days passed, and then I gave him the ass. I finally gave in, you know, to say, Yeah, we can ride in this boat together. I love you too. That's what I said to him. He was so excited, and he began to tell everyone, I was like, Tell the pastors and everybody else, boom, we're married. Hallelujah. <laughs> in the church, Pastor. Pastor Golden and uh, Bishop Matebolo were the one that laid their hands on us. They're the one that did the vows between the two of them. My pastor and his pastor has to sit down to say, who will be doing the vows? It was uh, Pastor Golden that did the vows. And then Pastor Matebolo did the blessing part. We're blessing the church in a wonderful service at Pastor Golden's church, First Restoration Center. It was a blessing. It was a blessed day. Everybody was there excited. Our parents were there. My uncle was there. So everybody was just there. It was a beautiful day. I still remember it even today. So passing that stage, I will say now I've been married for how long now? 17 years. And there have been 17 years of wonderful 17 years. But I was not sure in the beginning if he was the one. I just followed my heart. So sometimes it can happen that you are watching me and saying that prophetess, I want to be sure if it's the right one. What will be the sign? Signs are not the same. Somebody will say it was the, how he smiled back at me. Somebody will say it's how he was carrying his coffee. There are different things that people say. With you, your experience is not going to be the same as mine. But if if you are battling or in a situation like man where you are not sure but you love this person with all your heart when you look at all the qualities she has all the qualities or he has all the qualities that you are looking for then it will come down to one thing do you love him
And if the answer is yes, why not go with this man? You know, being in a relationship or being married to someone, it's a risk. Hallelujah. Taking a girlfriend and making them your wife, it's a risk. Hallelujah. What do you see when you look at that young man? What do you see when you're looking at that young woman? Do you see a wife? Hallelujah. Is she a wife material? Then if you have interacted with her, what is it that you have loved? The Bible says when Rachel, when Jacob saw Rachel, she was so beautiful. The Bible described her with a nice figure. There is always a center of attraction between me and Pastor Given. It was God that drew us closer to one another. For me, it was when I was speaking the word I had God. For him, it was for me when I was praying. For you, it could be a different situation altogether because you're not going to meet your partner like me. Sometimes you're going to meet in a pub. Sometimes you're going to meet in a club. Sometimes Sometimes you're going to meet in the street. There are different places where people come together. Maybe in your workplace. Sometimes in a boardroom meeting. You never know where and how. Any day, any time. But it doesn't matter. What matters, it comes down to you. When you are looking at the person, when the person is talking to you, is that what you want? Don't just fall in love with a person because others are getting married. Fall in love with a person. The Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes, it says that drink and eat and enjoy life with the woman that you love. It must be the woman or man that you love. Hallelujah. Love 100%. Because if you don't love a person now, you say, ah, maybe the love will develop over time. Hallelujah. Or maybe now there are signs that God has shown you, but this is not the right person. With me, when I was traveling, there will be boys who will be coming to propose me. But as much as they were coming to propose me, there were signs that I will see. Sometimes you find somebody flipping their phone, trying to show off their car, trying to impress the sister. It will be a jar for me <laughs> because I was not looking for that. I was not looking for materialism. I was looking for a man with a God's heart after God's heart. Not exactly like David because David can never be replaced. But I was looking for somebody who loves God with all the heart. Somebody that I can be able to pray with. What are you looking for? Hallelujah. Have you found what you're looking for in the person that you're with? Have you found what you're looking for as the person that is after you? Because I know as women, we have five brothers waiting. <laughs> or got different type of guys coming to us trying to hook up with us. So out of the five that are trying to hook up with you, is there one that you see things that you like that you love that you see okay i can go you know marriage is, is you know the book of Amos said one thing that i love before closing it says can two travel together unless they agree you know there must be an agreement you know agree about the time the venue and the date when you are dating someone it goes to what the bible is saying in the book of Amos. you can two travel together unless they agree you have to know okay when we start dating when <laughs> when are you going to ask me hallelujah to marry you when are you going to introduce me to your parents those are the questions that we should be asking because sometimes we're afraid to ask this type of question you find that years are passing now it's three years you being a girlfriend he has never introduced you to his sisters he has never introduced you to anybody but yet you find that you're fulfilling your, your duty you're acting as a wife but you're not yet a wife fulfilling your responsibility as you're supposed to in a relationship but only to find that the man not yet pop up the question so it's always good to ask where are you taking me in this relationship where are we going hallelujah then those are the quick things that you need to know if it's a year a year has passed ask him you know it's already a year what's stopping you from making me your wife there's nothing wrong with asking because if you don't ask you will die with pain and and a lot of things in your heart you know sometimes it's good to ask you sometimes you will end up being open i'm not red so even this year you're not ready two years now in this relationship you're still not ready it's like you're wasting my time hallelujah then we'll give you the option to say it's either you stay or you go then you'll decide do i stay or go <laughs> that is up to you anyway i'm not here to talk about that about breaking up i was here to give you guidance on how and how can you see if someone is the right partner something like that so for me i will say it comes down to you as a person the answer you know the bible says he who finds a wife finds a good thing and receive favor from the lord a man will come propose you but you've got the final word as a woman you have time to sit down do your research is this what i want is this what i want to spend the rest of my life with because spending the rest of your life with somebody it's a lifetime thing it's not something that is a short term hallelujah like girlfriend is short term but wife is long term hey marriage is long term thing so you need to be aware you need to check with yourself am i okay spending the rest of my life with this person do i love this person what do i love about this person okay staying for years and years with this person will i be comfortable will i be happy 
then if you are happy and the answer is yes i love this person why not go for that person if you're not feeling anything and if you're not sure follow your heart we are not the same there are those who are sure from day one but there are some people who are like us who are not sure but in the long run if you can ask me the same question now is he the right one the answer is yes i've spent 17 years with that man hallelujah and i don't see myself with any other man but him alone i love him to death that's how much i love my pastor that's how much i love my husband the father of my children now after spending time with him and being with him being in this thing so-called marriage i know for sure that this is the man that i want to grow old with like sarah and abraham but not me being buried first <laughs> like sarah but if that is the will of god then let it be i love you thank you so much for watching i hope you have learned something for today may the lord of heaven continue to bless you wherever you're watching us from this prophetess thank you for watching this video from the beginning to the end if you're watching me for the first time there's still other videos to watch hallelujah click on them you'll see you will learn something but for sure i by the holy spirit he is my teacher. He is my guide.